thyroid gland is one of the largest endocrine glands of our body it is located immediately below the larynx on each side and anterior to the trachea thyroid secretes two major hormones triiodothyronine and thyroxine commonly known as t3 and t4 respectively both of these hormones profoundly increase the metabolic rate of our body Let's have a look on physiological anatomy of the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is composed of large number of closely packed follicles. These follicles are lined by cuboidal epithelial cells. These lining cuboidal epithelial cells secrete a substance into the lumen of follicles and that substance is called colloid. The major constituent of colloid is a large glycoprotein called thyroglobulin which contains thyroid hormones. There are blood capillaries surrounding the follicles. The thyroid gland also contains C cells that secrete calcitonin. Calcitonin is a hormone that contributes to the regulation of plasma calcium concentration. But right now we are only looking for T3 and T4. Let's magnify one epithelial cell in order to understand the mechanism of formation of uh, thyroid hormones. So there is a blood capillary surrounding the follicular cell and there is the lumen of follicle that contains colloid. Inside the follicular cell, the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus synthesizes this glycoprotein molecule called thyroglobulin. Thyroglobulin is secreted into the colloid. Each molecule of thyroglobulin contains about 70 tyrosine amino acids. This is how a tyrosine molecule looks like. Meanwhile, there is transport of iodine from blood into the follicular cells. This transport is achieved by a sodium iodide symporter on the basal membrane. The energy for transporting iodine against the concentration gradient comes from this sodium potassium ATPase pump that is also present on basal membrane. Sodium potassium ATPase pump transports sodium out of the cell that establishes a gradient for facilitating diffusion of sodium into the cell along with iodine. This process of concentrating iodine into the follicular cell is called iodide trapping. The iodide ion is transported into the colloid across apical membrane by this molecule called pendrin. Pendrin acts as a chloride iodide counter transporter. The first essential step in the formation of thyroid hormones is the oxidation of iodide ion to iodine molecule. This oxidation process is promoted by an enzyme peroxidase that is located on apical membrane of follicular cells. The oxidized iodine now binds to the tyrosine rings of thyroglobulin molecule that are already present in the colloid. Tyrosine is first iodized to MIT monoidotyrosine when one iodine is attached and then to DIT diidotyrosine when two iodines are attached. This initial iodination of tyrosine is called organification. These iodotyrosine residues become coupled with one another. I am not going to draw the tyrosine rings here again. When one molecule of MIT couples with one molecule of DIT, it forms triiodothyronine or T3. When one molecule of DIT couples with another molecule of DIT, it forms thyroxine or T4. While some of the MIT and DIT remains attached to the tyrosine as it is. This T3 and T4 is not metabolically active yet because it is still attached to the thyroglobulin molecule. So this big iodized thyroglobulin enters back into the follicular cells by the process known as pinocytosis. Inside the cell there are many lysosomes that contain protease enzyme. Protease enzyme digests this thyroglobulin molecule and release triiodothyronine and thyroxine in free form. While MIT and DIT are deiodized, releasing iodine ion that is recycled and free tyrosine that is also recycled to form more thyroglobulin molecules. This metabolically active T3 and T4 is now released into the blood. Because T3 and T4 are lipid hormones, they cannot travel through blood by themselves. So they immediately get attached to this plasma protein thyroxine binding globulin which is synthesized by liver. 
It is important to note here that T4 has higher affinity to thyroxine binding globulin than T3, while T3 is metabolically more active. As T3 and T4 reach the target tissues, almost all of T4 is converted into T3 because the intracellular receptors have higher affinity for T3. Inside the nucleus of target cells, thyroid hormone initiate the gene transcription process for a large number of different types of messenger RNA. The translation of this messenger RNA will lead to new intracellular protein synthesization which will promote the function of thyroid hormone that is increasing the metabolism. By increasing the metabolism, thyroid hormone can has various effects of an, on our body depending upon the type of target organs on which it is working. For example, in central nervous system, it causes increased brain maturation. In cardiovascular system, it causes increased heart rate, increased cardiac output, increasing the rate of respiration and increasing the tissue blood flow. It also causes bone growth. And by increasing the metabolism, it causes increased oxygen consumption by our body. It increases glucose absorption, especially during the time of uh, starvation. It causes increase the process of uh, gluconeogenesis and increased lipolysis. It increases the basal metabolic rate at in and it increases the sodium potassium ATVs activity. In order to maintain the normal level of metabolic activity in the body, thyroid hormone secretion has to be controlled. So there is this specific feedback mechanism that operates through hypothalamus and anterior pituitary gland. There is this hormone known as thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, secreted by anterior pituitary. TSH is following effects on thyroid gland. It increases the activity of iodine pump. It increases the process of oxidation and iodination. It increases the protease activity, releasing metabolically active T3 and T4 into circulation. The secretion of TSH is controlled by a hypothalamic hormone thyrotropin releasing factor. Increased thyroid hormone levels in the body have an inhibitory effect on both anterior pituitary and hypothalamic hormones. Also, increased metabolic activity has same inhibitory effect on hypothalamus.